So a few months ago, I made a video on how to get Ableton Live 10 for free. This popped up in my email a couple days ago and I've been sending it to all my friends. The only catch was it was only for three months. Some of you guys were stoked on this. Popped up in my email. Some of you, not so much. The way I see it, you can get so much done in 90 days. And the new unbelievable features that come standard with Ableton Live 10 are the perfect way to get your workflow ramped up into overdrive. Today, we're gonna go over how to get Ableton Live 10 for free and take a look at some of those amazingly rad plugins that come standard with the new update. All this and more coming right up. Let's get it. Aloha gang, I'm Aloha Alex, and together we are gonna grow our music and production skills thicker than a tropical jungle. Just make sure to subscribe and to hit that bell so you never miss a video. That's three new videos per week to level up your skills. You've been lurking on the Ableton forums, videos, and you're just scared to come over to the other side. But now there's no reason to hold back. Start today on a 90 day action plan to create more music, learn new skills, and become a better producer. If you're like me, you're always looking for a new edge to add to your workflow or your production toolbox as a way to become more efficient, creative, and prolific. Well, I'm here to tell you, Ableton Live 10 is that edge. I'm not sponsored by them, although Ableton, if you're listening, this DAW is beyond amazing with their warping, their looping, not to mention their whole host of onboard devices and plugins. It will absolutely change the way you create. We're going to take a deep dive into all those in just a second. But first, let me show you how easy it is to get the full suite Ableton Live 10 for free. Okay, let's jump right in. So we're gonna start off by going to ableton.com slash trial. Or you can just go to ableton.com and you can go to try live for free. Either of those will work. You're just gonna hit download and open it up and the installer will make it easy. You guys probably all know how to do that. If you don't, um, go ahead and, and comment down below and I can do a further video on how to install it, but that's pretty standard. If you already have Ableton 9, it will install a different version so you don't have to worry about it messing anything up. Question of the day, why do you create music? Have you ever thought about it? There's no wrong answer here, I just wanna know. Let me know down below. Okay, let's go over some of these amazing devices that come standard in Ableton Live 10. We have the Wavetable. So Wavetable is a new synthesizer built by Ableton completely just for Ableton. You're not going to find this anywhere else. And basically it gives you the ability to shape, morph, and stretch sounds. And it's great because you don't need any sort of knowledge of how to use synthesizers. It just has this awesome sort of, uh, you know, all these, uh, this, whole, this device that allows you to sort of just mess with the whole sort of stretch the sounds and you can just take anything in here and just start messing with it. Let me see here. Okay, so next we have Echo. Echo sort of combines the old school um, analog and the new school digital um, hardware, uh, delay hardware into one single device. Um, it sort of shapes the sounds and gives you that like analog module filters and it creates those um, old school imperfections that you would get from the old echo chambers. So let's check out this sample that I have loaded up right here. Turn it on. You don't bring up the wet dry signal. Next we have drum bus. Drum bus is great because it can add subtle character or it can completely destroy and bend and break your drums depending on what you want to use it for. Um, you can add a little bit of warmth or distortion. Let me just play this beat by itself. without it and then let's turn it on let's 
got compressor all in one. It's got this boom feature. It brings out the low end. If you guys want a full breakdown of the drum bus, I will link a video in the description. I did a whole breakdown of the drum bus and why you need it on your beats. It makes it just a one-stop shop for mixed beats and drums. Stick around a little bit longer. I'm about to blow your mind with a feature called MIDI capture. Ableton is listening the whole time and even while you're playing and sort of messing around and you can hit this MIDI capture button and it's going to pick up the tempo and whatever you played even if you don't hit record. It's insane. Okay, next we have Channel EQ. Channel EQ is a super flexible and simple EQ. I use it on a lot of my mixes. It has a sweepable mid. And the shapes allows you to sort of adapt um, based on how the controls are set and it provides really musical results. love that one it's just super simple and it's going to take your mixes like above and beyond okay here we are MIDI capture this is going to explode your dome okay so basically you just arm a MIDI track and you start playing you don't have to hit record when you hear something that you like you hit this MIDI capture button up here and live is going to match your tempo and your timing and it plays your idea in a loop without having to press record Let's say we just want to play a beat. I have a this little um, drum rack set up. Not pressing record. Hit MIDI capture. Let's say I want to add another part right on top of that. Okay, I'm still messing around. Okay. Boom, it's set up right there. Exactly what I played. Go ahead and make a loop out of it. All right, let's add our bass now. Say we want to come back to our drum rack and add some more. Let's add some snaps on top. Haven't hit record once. Boom. Exactly what we played right there. Let's say I want that whole phrase where I played it earlier. Woo! How cool is that? 
This is more than an amazing DAW. It's a creative powerhouse. Do yourself a favor and pick it up today. If you decide that you like it, check out my original video, which I'll link in the description box. I show you how to get it for way cheaper than the full price. After you download it, you're gonna wanna get started right away on making your first song. To get started, click on this video right here. You're gonna be making your first song in less than 15 minutes. Come on in. The water's warm. 